Hey cruisers, happy Tuesday, happy almost Valentine's Day. We are so thankful to have all of you here tonight on our Tuesday evening live stream. If you are part of our Patreon community, our backstage crew, please go ahead and type crew in the chat so everybody can see you and know who your amazing selves are. Also, if anyone has any good first time cruiser tips, please type them into the chat uh, during the stream. The way that we'll do this is if you have a question, put question at the beginning of your question. If you can do it in all caps, all the better, makes it easier to see. If you have a first time cruise tip, write first time cruise tip in all caps and let's help our newbies out. Do we have any newbies in the house tonight? If you are new, come on over and say hi. Let us know that you're a newbie. I see all of my backstage crew folks typing into the chat. You guys are amazing. Brenda, I'm so glad you're here. I just saw you. Karen, don't you worry about those tech issues. We're going to be right here. Hi, Kareen. It was nice to meet you the other night on our Patreon Zoom call. So we have got some of the, the first time cruiser tips coming in. So those of you who are new, I want you to know that our community here will surround you with support. We have such a friendly community. Our community has been around for 11 years, you guys. This is the OG cruise loving, newbie loving crew. And they're gonna support you through anything that you need. And so am I through this process. And that's what Tuesday nights are for, to come and ask your questions. You can also DM me anytime you would like. Hi, Shelly. So our first cruiser um, tip comes from Chica. First time cruisers don't overpack. Big, big no-no, but hard to know how to do that, right? Like it takes some time. It takes some time to, um, to learn how not to overpack. I also wanna give a special shout out to Mike and Cheryl who are joining us from the Vista Lounge on Sky Princess on the high seas. They just had an amazing day in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and they are, they are probably doing pretty well with their internet package if they're here. Hi guys, nice to see you. Thank you so much. I see another new cruiser tip coming in from, um, let's see, where is that tip? I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna read it, and then I'm gonna a answer that question really quickly. Where did the tip go? Lindsay, somebody retracted the tip. Oh well, that's okay. Um, all right, let's answer Mickey's question while I try to figure out um, what's going on with those tips. I just can't read, I don't know what that says. It says, what, what? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not sure exactly what she meant by that. I think she retracted it and then is retyping it now because it didn't it didn't make sense. But let's answer Mickey's um, question. Mickey said, I'm a first time cruiser. Should I avoid MSC cruises? No, Mickey, I don't think you should avoid MSC. Here's the thing with MSC. They're a little bit more still, after all this time, there's still a little bit more of a European experience and a different experience than some of the North American cruise lines. As long as you're an open-minded traveler and you know that a cruise on MSC is not gonna be the same as a cruise on Royal Caribbean, as a cruise on Carnival, as a cruise on Princess. Honestly, none of those cruise lines are really the same. They're all very different. However, MSC being European based does have more of a European flair. You will notice it in the food, the main dining room experience is generally what you're gonna read about online is the food being a little bit different. There's pros and cons to everything. One of the best things about MSC is they have some really beautiful new ships. Their hardware is phenomenal. Just gorgeous ships. And there's a lot to do on the ships. Um, the other thing about MSC that's wonderful is the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club is a ship within a ship concept that generally prices less than other ship within a ship concepts, and it's phenomenal. They also have really good spas. I would avoid the older MSC cruises, cruise ships. I would tell you that for sure, avoid those. But I wouldn't avoid them altogether. Megan has a tip for newbie cruisers. She said, don't worry about over or under preparing. After a couple of cruises, you'll find the, the preparation groove that works for you. That's a good one, Megan. Ms. Mary said, question, how do I find the list of different types of like white night, dance parties, and all the theme nights? It's hard. You kind of have to look at the newsletters for your cruise. So the best thing to do is to Google search the newsletter. So if you're going on Royal Caribbean, I forgot what it's called. No, let's just do Norwegian as an example because that's fresh in my head. You would type in Norwegian 
escape, put the name of the ship, the name of the cruise, and then freestyle daily. And then see if you can find some recent ones and start looking through there. The other thing you can do is ask on forums. Ask on Cruise Critic, ask on cruiseline.com, put it in the forums or in your private Facebook group for your cruise if there is one. Good question, Ms. Mary. Um, some some um, websites will list it very rarely though, like Carnival Australia lists their theme nights. I don't know anybody else who really does. Um, some of them also will list it in their like uh, uh, dress code area sometimes. Good question, Ms. Mary. Lori Z said, first time tip, don't over plan. Enjoy the spontaneous fun moments. I love it. Charles said, first time cruisers, don't try to do it all. You can't. Good one. Well said. Brief, to the point, and awesome. Gate Girl 2262 says, tip, know what the ship does and does not offer before you book. Very smart. Choose the right cruise line. Highly recommend that. Devi Bahari said, which cruise line and itinerary would you advise for summer in Europe with an 18-year-old? Oh, that is an excellent question. Summer in Europe with an 18-year-old, I would, pro- it depends on your 18-year-old. Um, if your 18-year-old is very much likes to like go, go, go and do, 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 and wants to do those things on the ship, I would say probably a Royal Caribbean cruise would be nice. But if your 18-year-old is a little more like, I'm more about the shore days, I don't really care about socializing, I don't need a rock wall, I don't need a, um, I don't need any of the bells and whistles, then maybe Princess or Holland America, honestly, because they do Europe so beautifully. Larry Glenn said, tip, do your research on excursions and ports of call. I love these first time cruise tips. Good job, you guys. James Patterson said, new to the live stream, but I love the variety of content. You and my wife have similar tastes in clothing and we love the energy we bring. Yes. Yay, James. I love that. It's so fun. There's so many different types of content creators out there. We're all just looking for people to relate to and we can all relate to different people. For different reasons. And it's wonderful. It's a gift that we have these um, options. Lindsay said, tip, keep all your documents in a separate wallet so it makes it easier to get on board. Excellent tip. Susan said, new cruiser tip, always search for ship tours on YouTube to familiarize yourself with the ship's layout and, oh, oh yeah, ship tours, right. And also gain some information about different venues. I love watching ship tours, Susan. I do that, I'll sit in the bathtub and watch a ship tour, like a long 30 minute one. I'm like, I'll watch the whole thing. Vanya said, tip, come to the port at least one day before your departure. Oh, I love that, Vanya, and welcome back. Karen Turnbow said, can you do a packing video that addresses having to carry CPAP machines and multiple medications, even walkers and such? Um, I might be able to do that, Karen, at some point. That's a really, I have, I don't have a lot of experience with it, but I will do, I will do my best to take that into consideration. Chris and Jenny Fauché said, question, sailing NCL out of, uh, Miami end of July, best way to get back to the airport from the port. What time does the NCL bus transport leave? Okay. I am not a fan of airport transfers under almost any circumstances, Chris and Jenny. I'm an Uber or Lyft girl almost exclusively because those transfers get crowded, they get delayed, they get trafficy. Some If they're late, you have to wait for them. I'm just way more a fan of Ubering. So that's gonna be my recommendation for you. Jennifer said, have you ever wanted to go on a Disney cruise and is it worth the price? Jennifer, t- I would totally love to go on a Disney cruise. I can't say it's at the top of my list right now and there's a couple reasons why. Price being the biggest one. Very hard to justify. And the second thing is my, I've never really had, it. my kid is not a Disney kid. He's never been a Disney kid. So it's like, what are we doing? Now, am I personally curious about it? Yes. Do I have friends who love it? Yes. Do I recommend it often all the time? Because I think Disney is an amazing product. In fact, I have a friend who lives in Houston who just did Disney and she had the time of her life with her kids. She has little kids and it was absolutely perfect for them. They actually stayed on the ship in Progresso. We talked about it. We're like, just don't do an excursion. Just stay on the ship that day and like enjoy it. And they loved it. So I highly recommend MSC, I mean, excuse me, um, Disney. It's just for us, it's hard. It's, it doesn't always come to the top of the list for those reasons. But Kirk Brunson said MSC cruises are underrated. Going on my third MSC cruise on the 22nd, one of the Maravilla and Seascape and now going on Davina. Awesome. Kirk, I've been on Maravilla and Seaside, and they're both beautiful and very, very different. So good question. James Patterson says, cruise tip, if you're flying, keep nasal spray and allergy meds with you. I've actually ruptured both eardrums and canals on a flight headed for a cruise. Ouch. James, such a good tip. Any kind of medications you need, keep them with you. Such a good tip. 
Melody Mills said, is it okay to take a little nap? Oh, me, uh, the tip for Melody is it's okay to take a nap if you're tired. That is a beautiful tip, Melody. Thank you. And you guys, we just talked about that on our podcast today. We just talked about things you do on day one. And our friend, our Trinity was like, I take a nap. And, I, and a lot of us were like, I can't take a nap on day one. I'm too keyed up. But there's a lot of compelling reasons to take naps on cruises and to do those things that we need to do. So be sure to listen to our podcast tomorrow. It drops every Wednesday and Friday. Search Cruise Tips TV Unplugged to hear all of our tips on the podcast. Shelly said, tip, you're already doing it because you're listening to Cruise Tips TV. Oh, thank you, Shelly. Vicky, hi. Vicky said, small bills for tipping the luggage porters. Yes. Megan said, tip, uh, pack bug spray. Yes, you need it for Caribbean excursions and Alaska if you're going bear watching or on a bear walk or anywhere near water. Good tip, Megan. Um, Ginger said, question, can you go into more depth with MSC for first-time cruisers with them? That's right. We were talking about that. Is a travel agent necessary? It, um, yacht club, loyalty match, ship to pick. Okay, Ginger, ship to pick. Go new. Don't go old. Don't do it. Don't do Davina or anything older. In my opinion, if you haven't cruised with MSC, start brand new. Go Maravilla, Seaside, Seashore, um, Seascape, those types, okay? Number two, loyalty match. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but they'll loyalty match anything on MSC. They'll loyalty match your cruise or like if you have hotel status in Vegas, they'll match that. Um, Yacht Club, all I can say is if you could afford it, please, for the love of God, do it. It's phenomenal. One of our favorite cruises of all time was in the MSC Yacht Club. And I think that's pretty much it. Should, should you use a travel agent? I always recommend a travel agent. If you have a good travel agent that knows MSC, if anybody has a good travel agent who knows MSC really well and you wanna drop it in the chat, write tag Ginger Johnson and then put the travel agent's name, someone who you know has booked MSC before. Lisa Vegas said tip, Cruise Tips TV has the best backlist of videos for virtually everything. Oh, thank you, Lisa. We do have a library of well over 900 videos. Thank you for that. You are so sweet. I don't have to do a shameless plug when Lisa's here to do it for me. <laughs> Lindsay said question, have you ever booked on the sun deck? We book our suite on the sun deck by the retreat pool. Oh, is it really quiet with being near? It might be quiet, but some people have said that it's possible that there's a wind tunnel in that um, sun deck area by the retreat pool. But in theory, it should be pretty nice and quiet there, Lindsay. I've never booked on it, but it sounds great. Ooh, Brett. I love these questions. Brett Parnell said two options for August. 11 night Venice to Barcelona on a skate or nine night Venice to Athens on Viva. Escape is definitely an older ship, Brett. If you're a ship snob, you probably wanna go with Viva. If you like the charm of a slightly older ship and you don't care that there's no go-karts on that one, I like the 11 night itinerary idea better for you. Are you a ship snob, Brett, or not? Tell me. Lynette Bolton said, two of the best packing tips, bring liquid band-aids, the cut won't hurt so much in the salt water, and take crazy glue, Gorilla Glue, for any deep cuts. That is such a good tip. Thank you, Lynette. Yeah, liquid band-aid is a great thing to travel with. Put it in your liquid bag. Excellent, excellent. Wow, that was awesome. Man, you guys are killing it tonight. This is amazing. I love how all the tips are just flowing in, and we're like balancing it with questions. That's so fun. Um, mm -mm -mm. There's Florida, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Okay, bye, Mike and Cheryl. You guys have a great rest of your cruise. Thank you guys so much for being here. Secretary Weber Dash, Weber Davis, how well will NCL work for a 12-year-old? Well, I like NCL for teens and younger teens. There's a lot of teens on board. Um, my son wasn't into the teen club on NCL, though. He went the first day, and it was real, real busy. It was a little too busy for him. He's more of a princess kid for kids clubs. But, you know, also on NCL, there was just so much for him to do. I don't think Secretary Weber Davis, I don't think he felt like he needed to go to the kids club because he was hanging with, um, hanging with us. So I think that, I think NCL is great for a 12 year old. Island Girl said tip, very important. Bring sunglasses and sunscreen. Amen to that, my friend. Hi, Vernon. Hi, Bill. Nice to see you. Hi, Liberty Cruiser. How's everybody doing? 
Yeah, guys, drop your favorite travel agents into the chat. Um, Devi, we actually have a sponsorship relationship with a travel agent um, named Wendy. She and her team take care of our audience. I think that finding a travel agent is a very personal thing and everybody is welcome to share their travel agents. I've put my recommendation in the chat and there's also in the description of this video, um, you'll also see Wendy's information in there. So, has everybody been checking out cruise news this week? There's been so many exciting things happening. Just tonight, I saw a press release that I haven't even shared on the internet yet that said that Carnival's ordered their fourth Excel class ship. You guys can find all the news about that at cruisetipstv.com. I will put that news release in the chat as well for you guys. We'll talk about some cruise news here while we're rolling. There is that cruise news from Carnival. Um, there has also been an amazing update to Carnival Vista. Did you guys hear that Carnival Vista got an enhancement and it now has the Heroes Bar, it has new livery, it has retail stores, an expanded casino, wicked awesome new stuff on Carnival um, Carnival Vista. That's very, very cool. And all of you, I'm sure, heard that Carnival Jubilee's Godmother was announced. So that is very, very exciting, and we'll look forward to seeing the godmother, Gwen Stefani, perform at the naming ceremony. They are going to be live streaming the naming ceremony um, from Galveston, and I will be there. Guys, I'm driving to Galveston to see Gwen and to go on the ship for a few hours. I'm so excited to set foot on Jubilee. Larry Gwynn said, question, we just booked our first celebrity cruise. Bermuda, any tips? We usually cruise Princess. Oh, how fun. Celebrity is amazing. I have not cruised on Celebrity, but if you like Princess, you're going to love it, Larry. I would say definitely start searching for some videos on Celebrity. For Bermuda, um, I'll, I would definitely book an excursion. I wouldn't just walk around. I would highly recommend that you book an excursion. All right. Hi, Florida, Cheryl. Megan said, um, reef safe sunscreen, seasick meds or sea bands, even if you don't think you'll be sea or motion sick. Yeah. And you guys in our Amazon live stream after this, we're going to go live on Amazon and do an interactive shopping stream. I have a motion sickness patch that's like a behind the ear, more natural one. If you're the kind of person who wants to try something a little bit more natural, you can try these, but there's definitely something to be said for buying some at the drugstore. Jennifer Brand said, do you recommend travel insurance? 100% yes. Buy third-party travel insurance so it covers your flights and everything too, Jennifer. We like Allianz. It's really good. Um, AIG Travel Guard is also excellent. Jennifer said, what is the next cruise or destination you will experience next? And most importantly, do you have a signature drink with each cruise line? So Jennifer, we haven't announced our, any of our family cruises yet, but I am going to be um, checking out Sun Princess soon. Um, on a media cruise. So that's very, very exciting. So that's my next one. I'm going to Europe for an actual cruise, which is really great. And a signature drink with each cruise line. I love that question. Let's have everybody type your favorite drinks in because I, I like really strong drinks. I'm like a martini girl or like, you know, gin and soda, vodka soda. Uh, I do like an old fashioned. I like, um, I like, I do like certain cruise drinks, but for the most part, I try to just go for stuff that's not very sugary. But I will tell you one of my favorite drinks is on Princess at the Good Spirits Bar, and it is called the Sandia in Fuego, and it's a spicy watermelon drink, and it's really good. Ms. Mary said, tip, bring a swimsuit in your carry-on bag on embarkation day. Good tip, Ms. Mary. You are amazing. Um, Brenda said, always book travel insurance, preferably... Um, independent of the cruise line. Devi Bahari said, what are your views on Virgin Voyages? I think Virgin is doing an awesome job. People are loving Virgin Voyages, you guys. If you're looking for an all adult, adults only experience, and you are an open-minded person, you will probably love it. Um, you do have to be relatively open-minded. And if you don't know what I mean, you need to go watch YouTube videos about it, if that makes sense to you. Um, the ships are beautiful. I have been on Scarlet Lady. It is a gorgeous ship. I didn't cruise. I just spent the day on the ship. And I got to tell you, I was blown away. Very cool. 
Very cool cruise line. They're doing a good job. Island Girl said, it seems like there's a lot of chaos with ports being canceled and changed due to congestion. Is anything being done to address this issue? I don't know what you mean about congestion, Island Girl. I know that we've had a lot of weather problems lately, but I'm not sure about congestion. But maybe if somebody else can shed some light on that, please don't hesitate to let me know. Ah, <laughs> Jennifer Brand said, what's the best accessory for medallion for ladies? I have a whole storefront full of these. Um, with that said, and I'll give you the link to all to the whole store, but I will tell you my favorite is actually the watch band that you buy on the princess website. But there are options if you want to go to our storefront and search. I have an entire idea list of accessories. I like the necklace. And I like both of the bracelets. I like the bracelet that's like plastic, and then I like the one that's metal. So those really, truly, if I'm being honest, I wear those more than I wear the accessories that you can buy on Amazon. But if you want to save some money, I do have princess medallion accessories in a store, and I'll put them here for you. Here they come. Coming at you. Coming at you. There's those princess ones. Um, I'm loving all of the drinks that are coming in here. Somebody had mentioned the, um, that I got, I ordered a drink with Kraken. Yes, I love Kraken and Diet Dr. Pepper, and that's probably what, I'll go grab that between live streams before we go live. That'll be my drink for tonight. So, Secretary Weber Davis said, when are you going to do um, a Cruise Tips TV group cruise? We're not going to do a group cruise. Unfortunately, we've learned that that is not the best thing for us. There is a, um, there is an article on our website called a message from our family. If you want to read about it, I'm going to post it in here. We're not going to be doing it. It just isn't a good fit for us. I'm sorry to say that. Um, I saw somebody else, um, talk about something about a drink, but I don't remember what it was. It's okay. I'll go back and look. I got to say, I love how there is so much going on in the chat tonight. You guys are doing such a good job helping each other out. And this is why I love our community, because if you're a new cruiser, you can come here and you can just safely get those, um, those questions answered. Um, oh, okay. Cruise and fun mom said, can't drink alcohol for medical reasons. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it depends on the cruise line. Can you buy only one plan? It depends on the ship, depends on the cruise line. If it's Royal Caribbean, yes, they'll make an exception. You have to call them. And then you, as the non-drinker, you have to buy the Royal Refreshment Package. Most other cruise lines don't allow you to do that. Someone told me Princess will make an exception, but if anybody else knows of another line that will make an exception, maybe Celebrity does. I don't know. I mean, if, if Royal Caribbean does cruise and fun, um, there may be some other ones. So tell your mom, maybe try Royal Caribbean Cruise. That's what we do in our house. My husband doesn't drink and I do. So I buy the alcohol package and we buy him the Royal Refreshment, but you have to do it by phone. Ms. Mary said, you're making me feel good. I had surgery and I'm resting and watching my favorite cruise tipster. Oh, I want to be your cruise tipster forever. I love that, Ms. Mary. Can you can you call me that more? <laughs> this is the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, Ms. Mary, we love you. You hang in there and you recover from that surgery, girl. Um, I want to share one of our most recent articles, too. We did a plus-size clothing roundup with the help of our Facebook community, and I've just put a link to those fashion items in the chat. Now, I want to tell you guys that... Um, that everybody on Facebook who gave me links and ideas was so helpful. They told me specific dresses, swimsuits, casual clothes, and formal clothes that they wear on cruises that are their favorite plus size favorites. They also told me about other retailers that are plus size faves. That's one of my favorite projects that we've done recently. I really love it. Andrew said, Kraken sponsors my hockey team. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yes, Brenda, Aperol with anything. I haven't had Aperol in so long. I need an Aperol. When I go to Europe, I'm getting myself an Aperol spritz. Amy Williams says, I just went on my first cruise last week. Amy, how was it? What cruise ship are you on? Can you give us more information, Amy? 
Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Vanya said, regarding a cruise to TV cruise, I think if your family is rare animals that can sometimes be spotted in nature but never in organized areas, <laughs> the more special is, yes, you'll find us hiding between the trees, Vanya. But no, seriously, if you see us on a cruise, of course, please do say hi, guys. We're not, we don't bite, I promise. Vernon Womack, Womack says, we need some tips from Cruise Tip Grammy. Yes, Instagrammy. She made a resurgence. So Vernon, um, he found a picture of this old video we did where I was mocking myself in an old lady costume, and we called her Instagrammy. So I've got to, I've got to pull that out of the uh, archive soon. Janin, welcome Janin, said first time cruiser, we're going to Alaska and we aren't sure what excursions to sign up for, we're going to Skagway, Ketchikan and Juneau. Okay, great, I got your back Janin, here's what we're gonna do. In Skagway, do the White Pass Rail, in Ketchikan, do anything that involves a totem park, an outdoor excursion, getting on the water. You could just walk around, but if there's any way that you could get out and go do like a city tour in Ketchikan, that would be great. And in Juneau, do anything that takes you to the Mendenhall Glacier, whether it's taking a bus, an organized tour. The Mendenhall Glacier and Salmon Bake combo is great. Mendenhall Glacier whale watching and Salmon Bake is great. Um, or Mendenhall Glacier... Uh, float trip, Mendenhall Glacier canoeing. If you would like a resource to book cruise excursions, I have an affiliate link for cruiseexcursions.com, Janin. And what you do is you plug in your cruise date and then it populates all the excursions that Shore Excursions Group offers for you. All you need to do is tell it the date and the ship and then it tells you what tours are available. They're 25 to 40% cheaper, and they guarantee that they will get you back to the ship on time. They're wonderful. I love them. I've been working with them for a few months now, and they're phenomenal. So I just put the link in there for you, Janin, but those are my suggestions for excursions for you for um, your first time to Alaska. Oh, yay, cruise and fun. Yeah, Royal Caribbean. You're good. Now, you might need to Google that phone number. So just Google... Um, Royal Caribbean drink package phone number and see if you can find it that way. Oh my gosh. All right. PJ Gaston. Hi, PJ. Say go into Carnival's new celebration key November 2025. How do the private ports work? I think what you're talking about is the portals, right? Is that what you mean? Um, the, the portals are the different areas on Celebration Key, or do you mean like their private destination? Usually with places like that, you just, they dock and you walk off and you get to go enjoy the, um, the destination for the day is basically the way that that works. So yeah. Why is everybody talking about wearing orange? Is someone going on Holland America because of the orange party? Okay, Peggy, but almost everyone can wear some sort of shade of orange. So even if it's not like tangerine orange, maybe you can wear a burnt orange or something. I know, I had my colors done and I know what you mean because I can't, I'm not supposed to even be wearing black. I look horrible in black, but here I am wearing it. So I get you. Jolene Townsend said, my husband and I are going on our first international trip and only our second cruise in October, Rome to Lisbon. Any broad tips, can't miss, or maybe resources as always. Jolene, I want to tell you, I'm really proud of you for booking in October. It is a glorious time of year to go to Europe because it's still moderately warm, but yet it's not hot and it's way less crowded. So you've already done the best thing you can do. Another thing about Europe um, in America, we wear things like flip-flops and stuff like that. They do not wear flip-flops over there. You And sometimes you'll be going to like an, um, an area where you're doing like some sightseeing. You're not allowed to wear flip-flops. So make sure that you pack appropriate footwear that's closed-toed and plan on cobblestones and things like that. Um, for October, Rome to Lisboa. You lucky dog. You're going to Portugal. Um, that's a really cool trip. So you're, are you going to Gibraltar around? Are you going around the bottom of Spain and going to Gibraltar? Um, I'm trying to think of broad tips for you. I would just say comfortable footwear is so critical. Other than that, I would say, oh man, I can't think of anything right now, Jolene. I'm having a hard time with it other than just the fact that um, I think you probably just chose the right time of year and you're going to have an amazing time. All right. Oh, that's cool, Ginger. I love that. <laughs> uh, 
Um, we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon, you guys. So make sure that um, if I miss your question that you retype it at this point. We want to make sure that we get to your questions. Um, a few other things that we've recently produced. I want to let you guys know that if anyone's going on Sapphire Princess, I know that's a bit of a niche thing. We have a new ship tour on Sapphire Princess on our YouTube channel. That will be a good one to check out. We also have a brand new article on the best hotels in Miami. Again, we used a lot of recommendations from our community on this one, and I am super happy with how this article came out. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the chat too, Miami Hotels. If anyone's researching, that one's in there too. Checking to see if we have any more questions. Cindy Tro said best cruise line for a round trip Alaska cruise. See, two seniors, no kids. Hall in America or Princess for you, Cindy. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. Um, two seniors, no kids for sure. I would almost lean a little bit more towards Hall in America for you at this point. They do Alaska beautifully. They have a variety of different types of ships, Cindy, that do round trips up there too. You can do Eurodam. You could do Westerdam. You could do one of their newer ships. Um, and Eurodam recently received a, um, a little renovation and it's in really good condition. Westerdam is older, but still in really good condition too. Good tip, Chica for Jolene, covered shoulders if you're visiting churches. Excellent tip. Um, Liberty Cruiser said, Jolene, make sure you have a day or two in Rome. Very, very good. Bill Matson said, speaking of attire abroad, be sure to check clothing requirements if you plan to go to religious sites. Many require covered shoulders and knees. Thank you so much for that, Bill. Excellent. Good. See this teamwork, y'all? Amazing teamwork. You guys are the best. What do you say we do the Amazon after party? Is everybody ready to do a little cruise shopping? Not shopping for a cruise, but um, shopping for stuff for your cruise. Seth, you just got here. We're about ready to wrap up, but that's okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi. Um, Just making sure I didn't miss anybody. You guys look good. Everybody looks good. I think we've covered all the questions. Come say hi on the Amazon Live after this. We have motion sickness patches on sale. We have multiple portable chargers with built-in cables. I have a travel phone holder. I have a pill case. I have travel size toiletries. I have makeup bags. So many things. Give us two to five minutes. And we'll be live over there. I'm making sure I didn't miss anything else. I think we're caught up on your questions, everybody. Yeah. It's time. Yeah, come join us on Amazon. Also, if for any reason I missed your question, come on over to Amazon. I can answer it there. It's a much quieter chat. I can see every question, and we do interact with every question there. So do it. Seth said, shopping, I'm in. I also have, um, I have a fun promo code on Amazon, too, on some beautiful bowls. How funny is this? I have a little discount code for you guys on these. So that's kind of cool. Kind of different. Um, but yeah, come check it out. If you've never done it, it's a lot of fun. Basically, what we do is we talk about our favorite cruise stuff, tell you why we like it. The USB hub, for example, will tell you why we take this instead of maybe this. And yeah, should be a pretty fun night tonight. Hi, Wendy T. Wendy said we love the Misty Fjord excursion in Ketchikan. Oh, I'd love to do that. All right. All right, guys. See you in less than five over on Amazon Live. Have a wonderful night. Be sure to catch our podcast Wednesdays and Fridays. Just search Cruise Tips TV unplugged. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Cruise around the week. <laughs>